Okay, here we go. Today's demonstration, uh, well, at least the end effect of thermal expansion and our expanding, contracting Earth. Obviously, it pertains to uh, what's happening right now with an ever-increasing um, cosmic ray incident heating. Uh, which is basically uh, an induction process, much like in your microwave, uh, somewhat below the crust in the mineral layer. Uh, she starts expanding, and well, something's got to give. And of course, along with that same induction energization, uh, all kinds of new chemical and thermonuclear processes are set off and renewed which adds to the internal heating, sometimes catastrophically. So, here's our model, my Earth. <sighs> okay, that's how he's gonna look. Well, just in case the ink uh, washes off. And here, we'll, we'll give you one example here. You see what happens? You see what happens to the crust? As the liquid inside expands, something's gotta get. Can you see that? see that. See what's happening? Okay, here we'll put a fresh one. This one's got a few, um, shall we call, <clears throat> weak spots. <coughs> because I pre-fractured it, just, just just like the earth has fracture zones. So here we go. Okay, see, we, we see this other one is starting to crack too. One's all steamy. And, and of course, we're not doing induction heating uh, like a microwave oven or like cosmic particles and gamma rays, too. And those are all coming in at an increased rate. Not so much because of the part of space we're going into, but because how it's <clears throat> abrading and uh, degaussing and changing the whole geomagnetic prospects of our local interstellar cloud. I'm very hungry, so I'm just going to eat one of these little earths right now. Yeah, so basically our, our, um, our sun's, uh, our heavenly hosts, uh, geomagnetic comforter, it's more than that, but we're, we're trying to use Earth terms that you might be familiar with as to the comforter around our whole Earth. So, <clears throat> the whole solar system comforter. That, those are terms in all your ancient make-believe script books uh, that were supposed to be carried forward. So, we'll use the term comforter rather than interstellar boundary layer. Uh, it's really, it's being withdrawn. This lets all this extra energy in, which strikes all the planets. They're all heating, they're all doing this at different rates because they're all different and they all have different varying levels of comforter protecting them from this. Now, can you imagine if I had um, done a bunch of fracting and um, altered the way it would have cracked? Don't know if this puppy is warm enough yet. Whilst we're waiting for that, let's oh, I'll put these. Yeah. Put these in the cold water so I can eat them faster. <sighs> Ah, yeah, there she see, she's starting. Can you see that? Well, probably not. 
because <clears throat> the lenses are all fogged up. We'll come back. We'll be back. Let's go have a quick look at the weather. <laughs> Everyone's played out from the from last night's work. Hey, baby. Weird with that. <sighs> uh, we're having a proper July day now. It's it's getting up warm. It was nice and cool this morning, but it's it's getting warm. Uh, this is the semi desert, right? Isn't that nifty? Reminds me of a... Uh, of an uh, antenna transmitter dish. If you just doped up the uh, silicone uh, dioxide the right way, introduced a little energy, that's exactly what you would have. So that's, uh, uh, I guess we can't shoot it from here. Yeah, sure we can. That's where we were last night, shooting the fireworks, right? Right. Right up on that ridge there. Right, and that's Sportsman's Bowl. And that, that's where we were. A little over, but... That's uh, the shooting range in there, right? See, this is one lake, and remember I told you it was all waterfall? And there's the other side. See, it's like a gorge that was cut out by this Kelowna Glacial Lake. Not necessarily a uh, this, this had lots of water in here too, so it wasn't like a Niagara Falls waterfall, it was like a uh, submerged waterfall. I should have caught more of the clouds last night to show you guys. Um, I'll go to spaceweather.com and look up non solucent clouds, see? Eh? How do you like that for a jam? What's that worth to you, huh? What's that worth? What would you trade me for that, huh? I know, you can make it into a ring. A middle finger ring. See? It's perfect. Okay, let's, let's go check on our expanding earth. No sense making this unnecessarily long. The lenses are dried off now. So, go to spaceweather.com and look out non solution clouds. Going down to the record levels. Yeah, let's, let's add a little, uh, a little light. Actually, we'll just let's just take this outside. Oops. Back to our poor little expanding, contracting Earth. There we go. Ah, it should be a little closer. 
clear. So there you have it. See, Earth ain't looking too happy, is he? Look at what's happened. Okay, now he's starting to cool again. See all them cracks? So I went for the full effect. Sometimes, you may have recalled it, where it just bubbles out on a boiled egg out of the cracks and you get like this big fucking mountain. So, as you can see, See how weak he is? See, look at that. Okay, now it's starting to contract. See that? See that subduction? Okay, I know. It's a crude example. Oh, 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 oh. Well, we're at it. This guy lives in uh, the old airport. Is that Robinson? Yep. Guess I can't show you. There we go. Yeah, little old Robinson. There's a, uh, I guess I mentioned this once before, uh, apparently a helicopter flight training school is rumored to be opening up at, uh, at the, uh, Oliver Airport. But, it's not really an airport, but more like an airstrip with storage faculties for a bunch of old poops that uh, have planes. Hobby planes, mostly. Uh, uh, yeah, most of them are train killers, retired.